Okay, g'day. I'm Richard Musgrave Evans and I'm a plein air artist painting in Outback Australia. What I'm about to do is knock up a bit of breakfast. So I've just got the camp oven heating on the fire there and I'm just going to knock up a bit of a damper. Now I'll show you how I go about it. Alright, so we'll start off with some flour obviously. I'm feeling a little bit peckish so I normally only do a cup but I'll do a bit more than a cup. I haven't eaten for a while. Been too busy painting. Okay, so there's a, a generous cup of flour. Now that's a third of a cup of milk powder. Good pinch of salt. Just mix all those dry ingredients together. Okay, so once you've got that done, I'm just going to add a bit of olive oil to the mix and that actually gives it a really nice flavour. So we've got uh, one, two, maybe a tad more. Seems to work well, it makes it a bit like a scone mix. But you can use these type of ingredients out in the bush without a fridge or anything like that with the milk powder and the uh, oil as opposed to using butter and uh, fresh milk. Right, just mixing that all in. Now, have I got any water in here? I haven't, so I'll go grab some water because I forgot to do that. About a cup. Okay, just start adding that. Start adding that mix. Now I like to get the oven quite hot for this, uh, this particular damper because I wasn't concentrating then and I've put way too much water in so if I get a bit more flour that'll work out because means I have something more to eat. Less cooking later on. Just get that mixed up. I'll mainly do all my mixing with a spoon and whatever. Occasionally get the hands in there but not too much. You never know what's on the hands, you could have a bit of paint. If you're out there painting all the day, a bit of turps. I know you can wash your hands, but uh, it's still, I've learnt to do it this way. So we've pretty much got that right. Now the bottom of that camp oven will be getting a little bit warm. So I'll take the bottom of the camp oven off for now and just let it cool down a bit. Let that part cool so the base of it cools. And I'll leave the lid on scorching hot at the moment. Ah, cup of tea, beautiful. Right, now while the base of that's just cooling a little bit, I'm going to have to pick this little puppy up. Let's get it into the basic shape. A little bit of flour so that doesn't stick, and that's about it there, right? Now, very hot, so that just cool for a couple more minutes. Not even that, maybe another minute. Okay, so before I bung that in, I'll just put a tiny bit of oil in the base of it. Now 
as the bread's cooking, that oil actually gives it a bit of flavour too, which is nice. But it mainly to stop it sticking, of course. Right, we'll just put that on one side for a minute. Now I like to put it fairly flat so it'll cook quickly. It'll rise because it's self-raising flour. Push it right out. Now the trick here is to put a cut through it right now, right through it, like a cross. All the way to the bottom, criss cross. That'll come in handy later on. Okay, lid. Right. Now you won't believe this, what I've gone and done is, I've set the camera up, I've mounted it on the uh, shovel up there where you are, so got nothing to put coals so I'll have to use this to put the coals on the top. That'll be something different. Just drag a few of these little babies out. You don't want too much on the bottom, it burns too easy. Just a few like that at the bottom. Now the majority of the coals will go on top. This is going to be fun, let's see if we can get this happening. Right. This could take a while. And we're getting smoked out while we're at it, so I'll stick some bigger ones on. There we go. Look at that. It's actually not too bad. I might just uh, break him up a little. This is uh, next to useless, this thing. Anyway, right, what we'll do now is, that's a very hot oven, so that's not going to take long to cook at all, especially with that flame there. I might put that flame out in a minute. Give that about 10 minutes and we'll come and check it. No worries. Okay, well that's been about 10 minutes, so uh, let's lift the lid and see what we got. Just grab a few instruments. Okay. Now, always have somewhere to put your uh, lid too, otherwise you don't want to dump it in the dirt. Normally I put it on the shovel, but of course I haven't got the shovel at the moment, so that's going to go there. Now let's have a look. That looks about right. That is hot. Okay. Now you can see here why I've said about the crisscross. The crisscross is so you can break it open like that. And away you go. Now, I would normally leave that a couple of minutes to cool down before we eat, but we're going to do it now. First, I'll get it back into the area where the jam is, of course. We're going jam. All right. Back into it. Cut that one open. Bit of apricot jam, never goes astray. But the proof, obviously, is in the taste. That is bellissimo. Washed down with a hot cup of tea, doesn't get much better. Alright, well there you go. Now, 
Don't forget to subscribe, press the like, forward it, whatever you think's necessary for the occasion. And uh, we'll see you in the travels. Cheers.